Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. So now, we're actually going to head inside Althus's house. Oh. Uh, lots of food. You could just turn around and see. It's Persea from Ozette. There you go. Persea? And who's that you've got with you? My name is Emil. I'm Marta. I am Centurion Tenebrae. Pleased to meet you. These are all friends of Regal and Sheena. I see. So what brings you all the way out here? Altamira's been occupied by the Vanguard. What? They've captured Regal. Sheena stayed behind in Altamira to rescue him. Sheena asked me to get these two out of the city and take them to a safe place. So you brought them here? Yes. I am planning on taking them to Mizuho. But I expect the Vanguard to be on high alert right now, so... I see. Well, you may stay here as long as you like. Thank you. Now, what's all that commotion outside? It could be the Vanguard. Let's go and see. Sir, it's the same Iron Maiden from before. All right, then. Search this house. Magnar? Why is he here? Isn't he with the Church of Martell? It seems he was only pretending to be a Martell Knight. The incidents in Lewin and Palma Costa were most likely part of an elaborate vanguard scheme to cast blame on the Church of Martell. Marta, did you know Magnar was with the vanguard? I had no idea. Prisea? We can't stay here. We're putting Altessa in danger. Yes, that's true. I'm going too. Means we gotta kick Magnar's butt. <gasps> Lady Marta! So you finally given up. Excellent. Now you can return to your father in the Vanguard. I won't allow that to happen. I intend to keep my promise to Sheena. What? A child like you is going to stop me? You'll regret meddling in the affairs of the Vanguard. Sorry, uh, Magnar, Persea could bench press you. That wouldn't even be a challenge for her. Punishment! 
It's over! Okay, cool. It's over! Oh, uh, yeah. He's got 70,000 hit points. You're almost done. You are done. Sorry, what? Oh, there's... I didn't even notice that there was another... Right, there were three to begin with. Then, yeah, okay, I was just not paying enough attention. Now that he's alone, we can just kind of bully him as long as he doesn't uh, get that stagger proof for himself. I guess that was him trying to give himself that aura. That should be enough to finish him off. Oh, nope. Failed. Just shy. Sky combo two. Why did the Vanguard invade Altamira? What are they trying to do? Even if you knew, there's nothing you could do to stop it. Just tell me! Commander Brute is planning to announce the revival of the Silverot Dynasty in Altamira. So what? The Tethaala's royal army will just go and crush them, and that's the end of that! Unfortunately, I don't think that's likely to happen in Altamira. The Lezareno Company's headquarters are located there. They'd have more than enough food and supplies to hold out for a long time. <laughs> That's right. And our supporters are staging revolts around the world as we speak. That should keep the royal army's hands full. Then, once we have Ratatosk's core, we'll use the Mana Cannon to give the Tetha Alans the divine punishment they deserve. But why? What will that accomplish? 
It's the only way the Silverante will be able to win against Tetha'ala's advanced civilization. We can't let our people be persecuted like half-elves. The Vanguard sure is a troublesome lot. We should head for Mizuho as soon as we can. We'll be safe there. Yes. You've still got Ratatosk's core. The most important thing you can do right now is run. I understand. But what about Regal? I'm sure my friends will sort things out. Friends. Altessa, you should leave here as well. It's not... You don't need to worry about me. That Magna fellow's still got some life left in him. I think I'll tie him up and keep an eye on him. <laughs> but you'd best hurry to Mizoho as soon as you can. Yes. <sighs> Your spirits seem to be low. Are you tired? N no, that's not it. I just... Are you worried about all those revolts Magnar was talking about? The bigger Vanguard becomes, the more it seems like it's turning into some rampaging monster. How can something I helped create have gone so wrong? What should I do? That, I do not know. But Sheena said to make sure the two of you were taken to safety. I believe that means your safety is important to resolve these problems. She's right, Marta. Staying here and worrying about it won't give you answers. The only thing we know for sure is that we can't let them get Ratatosk's core. It's like our roles are now reversed. Huh? When I first met you, I was always the one trying to cheer you up. Now I'm the one with no confidence and you're getting stronger. Maybe, but it's only thanks to you and everyone else. I'll lend you my strength when you're feeling down. Mio. No need to worry about me, I've got no time to waste. Hurry up and go. Yep. Is the Mana Cannon really that powerful? Yes. It was originally developed to destroy the Tower of Salvation. I doubt there is any weapon more powerful. In our last journey, we used it to stop the giant tree when it threatened to destroy the world. It was Sheena's responsibility to fire the cannon. The giant tree that killed my mother was stopped by the Mana Cannon. Then the cannon must be immensely powerful. I mean, it toppled a tree that covered the entire world. Yes. If such a weapon fell into the wrong hands, it could easily wipe out a town or two. We'll never let something like that happen. Never. Okay. So off to Mizuho. there Orochi it's been a while Prisea who do you have with you Shina asked me to bring them to Mizuho you spoke with the chief is she all right well you see wait we should discuss this at elder Igaguri's place we have other visitors who might like to hear visitors yes rain and genus are here nice Really? Uh, yes. You are acquainted with Rain? They apparently traveled with her before. I see. Anyway, you can give us the full story at the Elder's house. I'll see you there. I really thought he was gonna poof over there in a puff of smoke. Like, too good to walk. <laughs> I mean... If you were a ninja that could poof everywhere and puffs of smoke, that'd be the only way you traveled, right? <laughs> this town has a different air about it than the others we have visited. That is probably true. While it is located in Tetha'ala, the people living here have their own unique culture. 
So this is Sheena's hometown. I hope she's all right. I'm sure she is. Though she encountered many dangers on her previous journey, she always landed on her feet. We are all very lucky. It is the same luck that brought us together, so I'm confident things will work out. Thanks for saying that. It's odd. You're younger than me, but you feel like an older sister. Older sister? You can call me sister anytime you like. <laughs> thinking about what Magnar said about how Silverunt's less advanced society leaves them vulnerable to persecution by Tetha Ollens. Yeah. The worlds were united. Everyone is living together. So why is it still like that? They're scared. Huh? People reject those who are different and assume that the world they know is all that exists. As a result, they are unable to understand other points of view. Those thoughts lead to fear, and that fear leads to war. <sighs> I believe that our ability to travel together despite our differences is due to the efforts we make to understand one another. I think you're right. On that note, let me take this opportunity to once again explain the magnificence of darkness. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Just as we thought, it's happening in other cities as well. Rain! Genus! Perseia? And Emil and Marta, too! What are you doing here? I brought these two with me from Altamira at Sheena's request. Altamira? Why were you in Altamira? Dreadful things have happened, you see. So that's what happened. You three were wise to come here. It's just as Magnar said. The Vanguard is instigating violent uprisings in cities around the world. Death to all Tether Allens! For the pride of Silverant! Rise up against Tether Allah! Long live the Silverant dynasty! The political situation was already unstable after the world unification. The vanguard is fanning the flames of the populace's dissatisfaction with the Tetha Islands and the Church of Martell. And there's no way to stop the revolts. What about Tetha Allah's royal army? I'm sure they have their hands full with just the Tetha Allen cities. And if the Martell Knights try to put down the riots, it will only increase the intensity of the vanguard's opposition. It doesn't help that there's still no unified government in Silverant. This isn't the sort of thing that a city watch could handle by itself. And they are planning on using a mana cannon. If they get that capability, not even the royal army could stand against them. Let's report all of this to Elder Igaguri. If the Vanguard needs Ratatosk's core, then we still have a chance. Right. There. Or anything else, I'm betting you both have. Yep, stop that. Stop that. I already got yours. And yours, yep. Okay. Oh, and right, uh, I need to double check skills. Sky combo two. Hmm. Do we use both of those? going to be four points short of using this one for a little while. Ah, that's all right. OK. 
cast stealth concentrate yeah more speed cast sure uh expensive. Hmm. I mean, rain, pure caster, just, that's just... Squared away. Let's go talk to the village elder. So, the enemy plans to use a mana cannon to attack a Tetha Alan city. If it comes to that, I have no doubt that the target would be Mel Tokyo. If their mana cannon is as powerful as the one Sheena used, it could easily blow away an entire city. Once they get their hands on Ratatosk's core, it's all over. Exactly. So we need to concentrate on Altamira and not the revolts in other cities. The Vanguard commander is stationed there right now. If a group as inexperienced as the Vanguard loses its leader, the rest of the organization will likely fall apart. If I understand you correctly, you're suggesting that we go after the Vanguard's commander. But Rain, the Vanguard's commander is Marta's father. And also driven mad with the power from Solemn's core. I'm not saying that we have to kill him. Even if we captured him alive, after all of the things he's done, he may be executed. Marta. I understand. My father has done terrible things. Please, don't worry about me. Then we should send our units into Altamira as soon as possible. Count me in. Me too. I would also like to help. I'm sure I could be of service. Uh, I... Emil, you stay here and protect Marta. Why? As long as Ratatosk's core is safe, the worst-case scenario will not happen, so we must keep it that way. We cannot afford any delays. Make the necessary preparations immediately. All right, let's go and get ready. Everybody has left the party, so they're all around the village, maybe? Let's do some quick shopping, because... here. Yeah, I'm guessing everybody else actually left the town. Do you think we're doing the right thing? What do you mean? They'll capture Daddy, then they'll dismantle the Vanguard. Then we can wake up Ratatosk. Are you really okay with that? Well, what other way is there? You don't want to try talking with your father? Daddy won't listen to what I have to say. You heard him. He just won't listen. Yep, yeah, being driven crazy by Solemn Square is probably not helping that. Then why did you go to the trouble of running away from the Vanguard? What? You said that you could never forgive your father's way of doing things. 
You were a member of the Vanguard yourself, and yet you're letting others do the most important work for you. You're okay with that? Then are you saying I should go fight my own father? No, I'm saying you should try talking with him. Just because it didn't work the first couple of times doesn't mean there's no hope at all. No. And being driven crazy by soul in core is what means there's no hope at all. Root's your father. If you can get it, get Solomon's core away from him, maybe, maybe then. Yeah. If someone else captures him, then that's it. That's the end. Are you really going to be okay with that? He's still your father. <sighs> Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Courage is what helped me make true friends. That's why I'm giving my courage to you. Let's go to Altamira. Regal's there and Sheena as well. They both saved us when we needed them. And you need to talk to your father. Emil. The Vanguard is attacking. Everyone's at the village entrance right now holding them back. You have to get out of here. Of course. Oh, okay. I bet this is now at max level. I believe. I believe I need him to be hold, holding some kind of item to actually evolve him, and because there were two options to evolve him, I think what is probably the better one requires some kind of item or something. I don't think I can actually make that item at the moment. I'll have to look at that later. We may have to give up the village. Emil, we can handle this. Go to Elder Igaguri's house. Look out! I won't let you into this village! Who's next? That one done. It's over. We have a decent chunk of what's left of this one. with that unstackable aura. It's a real pain in the butt. this the first time we met you remember It's over! What? 
Damn it. Oh, healing power. Oh, that's that. Oh, healing power. Oh, healing power. It's over. And you've been running ever since. You were running because you thought once you wake up Ratatos, the Vanguard won't be able to do anything. That's... But Brute has Solemn's core. You won't be able to wake up Ratatos if you keep running from Brute. <gasps> oh, healing power. <laughs> oh, healing power. Come on. It's over. Oh, healing power. I am successfully distracting three of them. This is this will this will be fine, probably maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I've got three of them distracted, but yeah, barrier the skeleton. It's over. Oh, healing power. Dude, don't. No, nope. damn it. It's over. Come on, after me. like the enemy withdrew for now. Are you still gonna keep running? Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. I want to see Daddy one more time. Are you serious? The Vanguard is after Ratatosk's core, remember? 
But you've been she trying to wake up Ratatos. Accidentally double clicked. That was just a roundabout way of stalling the vanguard. I was afraid to face my father. He had changed, so I just ran away from him. You're not afraid anymore? I'm afraid, but Emil shared his courage with me. Emil, and the other Emil too. Thank you. My other self said something to you? Yes, he did. Please, let me go to Altamira. Well, either way, the Vanguard knows that Marta's here. I don't really see a problem with her accompanying you. I think so, too. We can protect her. Rain, what do you think? You're against it, right? Oh, why would I be against it? <laughs> then it's okay. To tell the truth, I'd prefer to leave you behind. Rude. Huh? Never mind. Marta, you can come with us. Thank you. Then it's settled. I'll leave Marta with you, and we can meet up later in front of Altamira. Let's... Say in there. Uh, let's put rain. They kind of have no TP between them, but that's fine. To Altamira. Looks like Orochi isn't here yet. I'm right here. <laughs> I was just thinking, how would you know? He's a ninja. You scared me. Yes, I was quite startled. You don't look very startled. <laughs> That's our Perseia. Always so cool and calm. No, I told you. He startled me. <laughs> This conversation is giving me a headache. Let's just drop it. Thank you, Orochi. So what's the situation like in Altamira? It appears the Vanguard established their headquarters in Lesoreno Company Building Number 2. Building Number 2? It was built near Altamira's amusement park. If we attract any attention, the Vanguard will have a welcome party all ready and waiting for us at their headquarters. Then what should we do? Regal told me there's a tunnel underneath the hotel for employee use. If we can find that, it should take us right in front of building number two. You think of everything, Perseia. You're quite composed for your age. We'll seal off building number two so they can't call reinforcements. We'll take care of the Vanguard soldiers in the city. We'll leave infiltrating their headquarters to you. That's fine. The plan goes into effect at midnight tonight. Don't do anything that might arouse suspicion before then. All right, we should get going as well. They've got this place wrapped up tight. There's no way we'll be able to get in before midnight. What should we do? Starting a fight will get everyone's attention. We just need to get them out of the way, correct? Paw pad. <laughs> it's Tenebrae. If you're going to call me something ridiculous like doggy or paw pad, I prefer you just called me Tenaby. And Colette wins. <laughs> Chill out, Tenebrae. What are you planning on doing? I'm planning on doing this. 
Nobody can resist the sight of a beautiful woman. Celsius. Good choice. Tenebrae? You can transform into anything you want? Yes, because I'm a centurion. Now then, watch a master at work. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Celsius. Good choice. It looks like everything worked out beautifully. <laughs> How long are you planning to stay like that? Why, Emil, honey, don't you like it? Wow, well, that's a switch. <laughs> Maybe changing his shape changes his personality as well. I miss Pophead. Anyway, let's wait here until dark. Our operation begins at midnight. Which way is it to the underground tunnel? Um, down? Regal said all you have to do is get in the elevator and press the button marked for employees. Then let's relax until midnight. <laughs> hey, Tenebrae, the lady you turned into... Is that what Centurions consider to be beautiful? Yes. We Centurions have a highly refined aesthetic sense. Well, what about Rain? Truly, a vision of beauty. My. And Prisea? Very lovely indeed. How nice. Okay, what about me? Why, you are beautiful as well, Lady Marta. So then, which of us is the most beautiful of all? I believe that would have to be me. <sighs> you really love yourself, don't you? As she was asking that question, the thought going through my head was, No, Tenebrae, it's a trap! Um, but no, he, th that was the exact perfect way to answer that question. <sighs> Basement passageway to building two. Let's to the lobby first. And we'll head through the basement passageway in the next episode. Hope everybody enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode.